The human brain is amazing. A highly complex biological computer, controlling the function of every organ, every movement of every muscle, every sense, every word, every idea. But for us to survive and for our brains to function well, there are certain things we can't do without. Along with oxygen, food and water, one of the most important of our basic human needs is sleep. If we're physically or mentally tired, our bodies can usually recover if we take a rest. But when we don't get the sleep we need, we become fatigued. And for that, there is only one cure. We have to sleep. But modern living has created a 24-7 society. And many of us have fallen into the habit of giving sleep a lower priority than we ought to. We carry on checking emails and surfing the internet right up to and beyond bedtime. New technology means anywhere, anytime. It means we have become always on. And although we might think it doesn't affect us, a lack of sleep puts our health, our safety and our happiness at risk. It affects our ability to pay attention and to think clearly, making it difficult to work safely. Lack of sleep also affects our memory, our ability to learn and can cause mood swings affecting our relationships with other people. So for everyone's well-being and safety, it's essential that we get the right amount of sleep. Scientists know from research both in the laboratory and in the real world that we are extremely bad at recognizing when we are being affected by a lack of sleep. In fact, many of us believe, right up until the point that our eyes are shutting, that we're still able to work, drive and perform normally. The truth is, we're not. A study carried out by an American university watched surgeons performing operations in a training simulator. One group had already worked a full shift and were asked to carry on for a few more hours. Following the study, most of the surgeons were convinced they had been awake the whole time. But in reality, more than two thirds of them had actually fallen asleep at some time during the simulated operation without realizing. And statistics from incident investigation show that some of this industry's most serious incidents have involved people who were fatigued. Driving while fatigued is particularly dangerous, not just because of the risk of actually falling asleep, but also because drowsiness can impair a driver's response time to potential hazards. For example, drivers who suffer from obstructive sleep apnea, a medical condition that can cause daytime sleepiness, are seven times more likely to be involved in traffic accidents. When drowsiness sets in, many drivers attempt to fight it off with alertness tricks, like turning up the radio or opening the window. But these really don't work. It's important to be aware of how much sleep you need and to make time for it. Fatigue is caused by three things how long you've been awake, the time of day or night, and how much sleep you've had beforehand. Most people need at least seven hours sleep every day. Whilst it is well known that sleep is crucial for all living organisms, why sleep is so important has puzzled scientists for centuries. Recent research has shown that sleep may provide the brain with an opportunity to be cleaned, almost as if it receives a biological wash carrying away toxins and waste products generated during the working day. And even when we sleep, the brain is still busy. Scientists believe that during deep sleep, our brain is taking information gathered during the day and laying it down in the form of memories and connections between areas of the brain that allow us to learn and build long-term knowledge. If we don't get enough deep sleep, our memories and experiences from the previous day will be lost and we are less able to learn and react to the events of the coming day. Our desire to sleep is controlled by our circadian clock, an internal biological timer that works in harmony with our surroundings. At night time, it helps to create the right bodily conditions for sleeping by, for example, varying our body temperature and brain activity in ways that directly affect our alertness. And in the morning, it helps us wake up. If we pay attention to the signals our brain sends us and are able to maintain regular sleep patterns, then our need for sleep can be satisfied without much difficulty. 
But whenever we miss out on sleep, we start to build up a sleep debt. For example, if you need seven hours sleep, but only get six, you may feel there's little difference. But just one hour a day over a week is equivalent to going one whole night without sleep. If you have built up a sleep debt, two good full sleeps will pay it off. And you should always try to do it as soon as possible. And how you sleep is just as important as when you sleep. A healthy lifestyle, including a varied diet and regular exercise, will have a big effect on how well you sleep. As well establishing a bedtime ritual such as a warm bath or reading and going to bed at the same time every day. Skipping meals or eating at irregular times can affect the quality of your sleep. A light snack before bed may help you sleep, but a heavy meal can interfere with your ability to sleep well. Try to relax before going to bed and avoid doing things that might stimulate the brain, like going through your emails or social networking. Make sure that the room you sleep in is cool and that light or noise won't disturb your sleep until you wake naturally. If you can choose where to sleep, pick somewhere quiet and not exposed to sunlight or street lighting. Before going to sleep, switch your phone to a setting where it won't ring unless it's urgent. A good mattress and bedding and a good pillow are really important and can dramatically improve the quality of your sleep, which in turn can have an enormously positive effect on the quality of your life in general. And ask your family and friends to help you by respecting your need for sleep and by creating routines that allow you to give sleep a top priority. Sleep is a basic requirement for our overall health, but we live in an increasingly sleep-deprived age, one in which poor sleep habits can become accepted. Our lives are busy, and we will often put work, our family, and fun before sleep. But fatigue is not only a serious safety risk at work, its effects can also be felt in family life, disrupting relationships by making us irritable and short-tempered. Look at your lifestyle to see if there are opportunities to improve the amount and quality of your sleep. Most of us will find that there are choices we can make that will help us avoid becoming fatigued. Even so, all of us are likely to experience fatigue at some time, but it will be more common among shift workers, those working nights or after long-haul flights. The best way of fighting fatigue, then, is through prevention. By understanding the causes of fatigue, we can make the right choices. Choices that recognize the importance of sleep and trying to ensure we consistently get at least seven hours of good sleep every day. Choose to take your sleep seriously and make sure you get the sleep your brain needs. Respect the needs of your family and colleagues to get the sleep they need. Create the best conditions for your sleep. A cool, dark, quiet bedroom with a good mattress and pillow. And don't let your love of technology damage your sleep. Your well-being and safety are really important. And while limits on working hours and health and safety regulations can help to protect you, it's only you that can manage how much sleep you get. Sleep matters. So be good to your brain, be good to yourself, and continue to be amazing. Sleep is a basic requirement for our overall health, but we live in an increasingly sleep-deprived age, one in which poor sleep habits can become accepted. Our lives are busy, and we will often put work, our family, and fun before sleep. But fatigue is not only a serious safety risk at work, its effects can also be felt in family life, disrupting relationships by making us irritable and short-tempered. Look at your lifestyle to see if there are opportunities to improve the amount and quality of your sleep. Most of us will find that there are choices we can make that will help us avoid becoming fatigued. Even so, all of us are likely to experience fatigue at some time, but it will be more common among shift workers, those working nights or after long-haul flights. The best way of fighting fatigue, then, is through prevention. By understanding the causes of fatigue, we can make the right choices. Choices that recognize the importance of sleep and trying to ensure we consistently get at least seven hours of good sleep every day. Choose to take your sleep seriously 
and make sure you get the sleep your brain needs. Respect the needs of your family and colleagues to get the sleep they need. Create the best conditions for your sleep. A cool, dark, quiet bedroom with a good mattress and pillow. And don't let your love of technology damage your sleep. Your well-being and safety are really important. And while limits on working hours and health and safety regulations can help to protect you, it's only you that can manage how much sleep you get. Sleep matters. So be good to your brain, be good to yourself, and continue to be amazing.